Yeah, I want to break free of these chains. A chronic illness, you really feel like there's no light at the end of the tunnel. Well, it started off with bleeding from my bowel, which is pretty scary. And uh, that's been kind of an ongoing thing. Extreme abdominal pain, sweats, fevers. Along with that, also a lot of depression as well and anxiety. It's unclear how, but Diane caught a tummy bug called Clostridium difficile, or C. difficile. It's a superbug that can be virtually impossible to treat. There is a percentage of patients with C. difficile infection who will go into the relapsing stage where you cannot get rid of the bug because it makes spores. But Professor Thomas Barodi has been using a radical treatment to cure this condition. You're aware of that? Yes. I went reading literature and I came across this paper from 1958 where an inflammatory condition responded to restoration of the bowel flora. It's called human probiotic infusion. Put simply, Diane will be infused with someone else's faeces. We have a bank of donors who we know and we test every few weeks. Donors have to be healthy people who have been screened for any known poss possible disease and their stools are tested. With some saline homogenised in a blender, filtered through a simple kitchen type filter until it's able to be injected through a channel inside the colonoscope. It's hard to believe that this faeces could be a medical therapy. Bowel flora is made up of huge numbers of bacteria. So poo is a zoo. It contains living animals, you can call it bacteria. So it's a living organ that lives inside our colon. It has a few jobs, including destroying the waste. It itself is not waste. So the transplantation procedure brings in bacteria which were removed and they implant. I'm about to follow Diane as she undergoes this confronting treatment which she hopes will change her life. Yeah. Big day for you today? Yes, it is, and I'm, I'm just so excited. Yeah? Yeah. So you don't feel too icky having some donor faecal material being transplanted in? I know that it does sound a bit gross yeah. and a bit undignified and not very ladylike, yeah. but um, at the end of the day, I just want to be restored and have my life back. Yeah, exactly. C. difficile releases a toxin that destroys the bowel lining and causes ulcers. The symptoms are similar to severe food poisoning and in extreme cases can lead to death. The worst strain that we know of started in Canada around the year 2000, where it is thought it mutated and produced the super strain. It's now moved into North America and the first strains have arrived, but they're in very low numbers in Australia. Should we be concerned about this? I think we should be. There are measures that have been put in place to try and prevent the spread of it. But once a hospital is infected, it's very difficult to disinfect the hospital. Dr. Barodi is not being an alarmist. He says this infection has become an epidemic in the US, killing around 300 Americans every day. So we feel like pretty bad inflammation throughout. He believes antibiotics are one of the major causes. Overuse of antibodies can certainly damage your bowel flora, or the microbiome as we call it. And so for the last 50 years, we have been hitting our bowel flora with antibiotics. And so now we're trying to repair it. Seven years ago, Coralie was struck down by a strain of C. difficile after taking a course of antibiotics for a simple dental procedure. I couldn't believe I was in so much pain that I, I well, I really thought that my life was over. So, changed everything. The antibiotics she took were toxic to the good bacteria in her bowel, allowing resistant ones like C. difficile to thrive. I never ate thing because the severity of the pain, I was unable to walk. So it was not good. 
You still seem really affected by it. Yeah. Coralie was one of the first patients to have a faecal infusion. She wasn't very happy going ahead, but because she was so ill, she agreed to have an implant. After a single infusion, Coralie noticed a dramatic improvement. For the first week after, there wasn't one case of severe symptoms. So yeah. you're already seeing improvements a week after the procedure? Definitely, right. definitely. And then what happened? By the fourth week, I was symptom free. Dr Barodi boasts a 95% success rate. The theory is the donor faeces acts like a probiotic to restore the balance of good and bad bacteria in the gut. You got a blood test there? Yes. Diane is now being sedated, ready for her infusion of donor faeces. A routine colonoscopy reveals the extent of damage in her bowel. It certainly does look quite ulcerated, doesn't it? That's a colitis. Quite bad. A lot of cobblestoning and pseudo polyps. Us. It's time for the faecal slurry to be infused in Dianne's colon. These bacteria have been through a blender, so they're kind of dizzy. And after a few hours, they find an environment there which is warm, dark, and it becomes their new home. This is the last syringe going in now, and we're just going to flush it through with some saline. 60 to 80 percent of the donor stool bacteria remains in the recipient. And I believe they make molecules which kill off not just the bugs, but also the spores. Are you happy with the procedure? Yes, I'm happy with what we did. So what do you expect in the next couple of weeks? Well, she should reduce having a frequency of diarrhea. And if you look inside there again, it'll be more healed. She will have less urgency and possibly less blood being passed. Dr Barodi says our attitude towards faeces needs to change. It's made up mostly of bacterial cells and the number of bacteria is a fascinating statistics. There's about nine times more living bacterial cells in our stool than there are living cells in our body. So in effect, we are 10% human and 90% poo. The big question now is whether this rather rudimentary science will move beyond the need for using human faeces. Ultimately, there will be a non-faecal method of doing it, but I think that might take some years. So, how are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling good, considering, yeah. It's still just a little bit uncomfortable, but, you know, I feel really just mentally at peace. What are you looking forward to most? Just regaining those uh, natural pleasures of life because this condition has left me completely spent. Yeah. And so just have the energy to enjoy life, live life and live it to the full. So that to me is just going to be the best. Hmm. Three weeks later, Diane is free of stomach pain and she's hopeful she'll stay that way 